Saturday has been another packed day at the Rye in Amsterdam. Delegates and visitors from across the world made contact, shook hands and did deals. In the IBC conference, the godmother of virtual reality, Noni de la Peña, gave the show keynote on how immersive tech will transform entertainment. If you go back and look at some of the early game engines, Roblox, et cetera, Second Life, those were metaverses. They let people participate together in the virtual world. But now, with new headsets, with your phone, you're going to be able to walk through this space. You're going to be able to feel like you're actually immersed in it instead of just watching it on a separate 2D screen. And I think that that's a really interesting thing people have to start thinking about. How do we tell stories in these spaces? How, what are the experiences going to be like? And it's not going to be like you're just going to you know, want to buy a, you know, just a bottle of Coca-Cola as a digital object. That object's got to have something, uh, an experience associated with it. Is it going to let you float up to the top like a bubble and pop? IBC was treated to a tour of the metaverse by Lewis Smithingham of marketing and advertising specialists, Media Monks. For us as, as broadcasters, we are content creators, we are storytellers, and what better place to tell our stories are in new virtual spaces. We suddenly have unlimited new stadiums to play in, to broadcast out of, and frankly to make money. We recently did a broadcast in Meta's Horizons product, so Horizon Worlds, where the entire content was created in a virtual world, end to end, it was a sports interview. And when you look at these, as these new spaces, if we lean into them, there's tremendous opportunity for us. Big Hollywood Studios gave an update on the Movie Lab's 2030 vision. The whole idea of this is to continue to move forward. You know, if you think about it in the Kaizen principles, it is that constant need to innovate and to, I mean, constant need to innovate as well as improve. So that's part of what drives the Movie Lab's 2030 vision in, in the background. The other part about it is, yes, every day you're learning something new. And every day as you take a really hard look at what you're doing, you're finding things that you could probably do either better or less. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all really, it's, it's self-discovery, but it's also innovation. On the show floor, Hall 5 was alive with some of the brightest names in emerging technologies in the Content Everywhere hub. In Hall 13, Sony unveiled a host of new solutions focused on cloud and IP and sustainable technologies. One of them is a, a new generation switcher architecture that is completely modular and is called MLS X1, which compared to before as a unique block of uh, hardware architecture, it can be spread across into multiple geographies so you can actually share resources from one place to another. EVS and Hall 10 revealed its live production and content management solutions. We have Media Hub, which is a cloud-based solution to distribute content for our customers. We have Extra Motion, which is a cloud-based solution to enhance slow motions on our XT service. And we have a whole list of other capabilities that we're announcing here. One of the, the important things that uh, we, we present here at the show is uh, the approach that we have towards the cloud. So I think uh, everybody is talking about the cloud, but uh, effectively we see the cloud as a, an important enabler. But uh, uh, there are different ways, of course, to in integrate the cloud on top of existing products. And the objective is for us to bring flexibility on top of on-premise uh, product and solutions. Also in Hall 10, Domo Broadcast Systems showed its new 5 MHz modulation system, which powered Gravity Media's coverage of the US Open Tennis. What this does, it uses new um, encoding technology and new RF technology to um, mean that you can use half the bandwidth for the same picture quality of conventional systems. And that was in use at the US Open uh, this year for the first time. So we're very, uh, it all went swimmingly and we're very pleased with that. The IBC Accelerator showed an array of innovative technologies, including two looking at 5G in remote locations and cloud-based live events. The broadcast industry is moving very rapidly towards OTT being the primary thing, and what that means is you really need a set of um, IP-native, cloud-native technologies to feed that output. So we are basically demonstrating we could pop up very rapidly on a non-public network, as John's mentioned, in these remote areas. So we've taken our network, a network in a box, and we've taken that to locations in Kenya, in New Zealand, and in Ireland. And now, hopefully, on Saturday, we'll be uh, transmitting live from Scottish Highland Games in Pitlochry. 
For more on all the news from the show and information on what to see and do, find us at ibc.org or on the IBC app.